is up guys it's a wanted turtle and today we are doing a pokemon opening specifically the new japanese set gg and um man i really like japanese sets they keep things fresh just because like it feels like every month a new set is out and so we just get a uh small uh glimpse into what we is in store in the future and this one so ggn to be honest i just i think that name is hilarious uh and so there's a, some interesting cards in here i think the ones i'm looking for are the giratina garchomp as well as the alolan raichu raichu combination so those are the tag teams we're looking for uh i'm hoping for one of the alternate arts uh, so far all we've been getting is full arts and japanese boxes uh so hopefully we can make that improvement so let's get into it guys all right, GG End. Very cool name. Pretty cool box art. Let's do this. A quick shout out to um, Bill's Lighthouse, another Pokemon channel. Um, that's really nice. Uh, that do also does Japanese openings, and kind of he kind of referred to me. Uh, I, I felt like he got his Double Blaze boxes really quickly, and I kind of asked him how he went about that, and he recommended uh, Plaza Japan, which I've heard of from. Brace Gaming as well. There's another uh, YouTube channel that does primarily Japanese openings. And uh, so shout out to you guys just because uh, I, so I did get this from Plaza Japan and I do agree that the uh, kind of the shipping timing is very good. Um, it's only been less than inside a week before since this came out and it's already here in the or I got it in the here in the US. So uh, yeah, if, you're, if, if you're ever wondering how to go about getting some Japanese packs, uh, Plaza Japan is a good way to go. You do have to pay for shipping, but it's not too bad. I think sometimes it's like only like seven bucks, um, and then plus the price of the box, and there you have it. So we are opening half the box. It's 15 packs. Let's do this. Rolling up my sleeves. All right. So hope everyone's having a good day. Really excited to get into this new set. We kind of talked about some of the big hits that we're looking for, and I think this is a black belt card. Uh, is this like a Starly? Not sure what I'm looking at here. Is it the Pikachu? Is it this thing? Um, Meditate. And then a Latias. Or is that Latios? I think it's Latias. So, uh, that's a pretty cool art. Latias and Latios, I always <laughs> thought they kind of look like... They're kind of just like little like rocket things. Looks like little spaceships with like little arms and legs. All right. Um, Meditite involves into, oh, I can't remember your name, I think it's Munchlax, very cute, a Drifloom, Stunfisk, ooh, alright, so we did get a full art trainer, um, I'm glad we got a secret rare, uh, I feel like there have, could have been better ones, but, uh, yeah, when it comes to Japanese sets, full art trainers are very bittersweet. Uh, so we did get the Secret Rare Black Belt. Not bad, not bad. I'm not sure what the chances are pulling multiple Secret Rares. But at the very least, we could still, we're could still we still looking forward to some pulling some GXs. And we'll see if we can't get those any of those new tag teams. Alright, I'm not sure who you are, but you look pretty cool. Oh, I gotta get better with these names. Ooh, who are you? This set has a lot of cards or a lot of Pokemon that I don't I don't recognize right off the bat. Uh, Mag Mortar, I do remember. All right, it's Scavalier, Munchlax again, um, Riolu. I feel like this guy looks like Larvitar, but I'm pretty sure it's not him. And then, ooh, a Garchomp. Okay, pretty cool. Cynthia was always just cool, but not crazy cool, so. Alright, let's see. We got a Zygarde of the dog form. I think it's Bidoof. And this is the <laughs> Gibble. The kind of like the little uh, hacky sack things are always interesting. Oh, this is a pretty cool art. Pikachu. Put this one off to the side. We got another black belt. Oh, I like that. 
Ah, one card that uh, I kind of ordered a little bit ago, hopefully it arrives soon, is every once in a while Japan has like these awesome promos. I talk about it a lot, um, but one of them is the kind of like a tea ceremony Pikachu. So I'm really excited about that. This is one of the Landris, Thunderous guys. And then a Chandelier, I believe. Oh, this one is the cool one. Uh, this attack, I think you flip over like X cards, certain, maybe five cards in deck, and this does 10 damage plus like, um, let's see, plus, plus 50 for every Pokemon that you uh, flip into your discard pile. So I feel like there's some, um, it's very hit or miss, but you could make certain decks that are kind of like, or will definitely hit a lot. Um, however, it is kind of like, not even high risk, high reward, but it's more like your deck uh, will need a lot of Pokemon, which kind of makes it difficult to set up. But a very cool card nonetheless. Ooh, where are you? I can't remember your name either. Oh, I feel I feel bad. I I gotta I gotta brush up on my my names. I get I get very uh, complacent when when opening English cards. Uh, I believe this is the Drift Bloom. All right, Stunfisk, Gable, and then Gabite. Oh man, who are you? This guy looks badass though. Put this one over here. All right, this is a very exciting time in Pokemon. I feel like I talk about it a lot, but Detective Pikachu came out. A lot of hype around that. And then now we got GG End. Uh, Unbroken Bonds is going to be a huge hit, I feel like. I um, feel like after Team Up uh, on the English side, Pokemon in general has a lot of wind in its sail. That, yeah, just a lot of hype. All right, so there's some kind, of, some kind of furnace. And then a Gibble. Um, this the candle, like something wick turns into lantern or something. Ooh, a Heatran. Okay, Heatran GX. So we did get our first GX card in the Heatran. Uh, don't remember its attacks, but I think they were they were nothing crazy. Uh, kind of a base 130 for three energy. Definitely not strong enough. All right, I had to go check something. So let's keep going. We still have five packs or so. All right, ooh, Alola Marowak. That is a pretty cool art. And oh, I did um, pre-order like a uh, Alola Marowak GX box. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure what card that's referring to. This is either Landris or Thunderous. Ooh, very nice Pikachu again. Cubone. Ooh, that guy's more menacing than Cubone typically is. And then a Lucario. Let's see what we got in the background. Ooh, we got that the um, box art tag team in the. Um, Giratina and the Garchomp. Oh, who are these guys? They look like soldiers of some sort. We got Zekrom and Pikachu back there. Oh, a lot of tag team references. Um, so I think this, uh, so I just checked this is Axu. And then, um, Tranquil. Real, ooh, the Alolan Raichu. I'm not sure how I feel about that where usually a lot of times they have the tag team so they'll have like the guard chomp and stuff and then they'll have the card by itself and then they'll have the tag team in the same set. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I um, can't remember your name. This is like Mana. Ooh, Magmar. That one's pretty cool art. Bidoof. And then Escavalier. All right, two packs left so far. We got did get our secret rare, but it, it, in a full art trainer as well as a Heatran GX. Let's see if we can't get at least one more ultra rare pull. This is the Drift Blim. Meditate. Um, this is Lampent. Drift Bloom. And then is this the the Tranquil again? Uh, Moon pheasants, I think. All right, last pack, guys. Let's get at least one more GX. I see something shiny. It might just be a hollow, though. Overall, I think this is a pretty cool set. I don't think it's as great as like Full Metal Wall or Double Blaze, but uh, still enjoying this. We got a Stunfisk. Uh, Bidoof turns into. Uh, can't remember. The Litwick. 
And then a Hoopa for the last card. It is a Hollow. Hoopa is a strange one, but a pretty cool Pokemon overall. I, I kind of associate him with Darkrai, and maybe it's just because they're both Dark type. So, um, yeah, a lot of Pokemon that uh, were kind of introduced after I got out of it, so I do have to learn some of the names a little bit better. Uh, but a pretty cool set overall. Pretty happy with our Secret Rare as well as our Heatran GX, but I'm hoping to get some better ones in the next one, as far as, at least as far as the tag teams. Again, looking for. Um, that Garchomp and Giratina um, So we'll see if we could do better in the next one. Uh, oh, yeah, and then there's also the right shoes So if you guys did enjoy this opening, please do me a favor hit that like button down below it helps the community channel grow and reach new viewers uh, If you're new to the channel welcome We do uh, Pokemon videos every single day as well as mixing some Yu-Gi-Oh and other stuff like that uh, So definitely subscribe for future content if you're interested in that uh, Follow me on Instagram guys, and I'm a Wanna turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace Surprise, surprise, we forgot to open our backpack of Del or Burning Shadows, so I did have to crack open a fresh box of these. So let's see if we can start with a bang on this booster box, still hunting for that Rainbow Rare Charizard. Let's see what we got. Ah, so yeah, definitely throughout the entire last box, the code cards were flipped the other direction, so it doesn't look like we're going to get it this time. So we'll go through quick fairy energy, Mount Lanakila, Simiseer, Dusclops, Inke, Ralts, Crab Brawler, Sneasel, Venipede, another Mount Lanakala, and then a Malamar. So there you guys have it. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle. Catch you guys next time. Peace.